Today, I'm gonna to give you my top five tips for buying new construction in the Murrieta Temecula Valley, and we are starting right now. Hi, Jessica Janung here, a realtor here in the Murrieta Temecula Valley with Active Realty. If you are considering moving to the Murrieta area, check out my relocation guide, which is available for immediate download. There is a link down below in the description where you can get that. If you are viewing this on a mobile device, you just need to tap the video title and the description box will open right up. And thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Let's get right to our topic, the top five tips when buying new construction. Tip number one, know what type of builder you are dealing with. Builders typically fall into two camps. The first camp is where a lot of features are already included in the home, and what you see is what you get for the most part in the model, and there is not a lot of options to customize when you go to the design center. Examples of this camp of builder are going to be Lennar and DR Horton. If you have seen my other videos, you have heard that I like to work with Lennar, and one of the reasons is because so many upgraded features are already included in the base price of the home. This makes it a pretty easy process for my clients. The only options to upgrade at the design center is pretty much just your flooring and your backsplash. In the second camp is going to be your builders that allow you lots and lots of customization options. Examples of this type of builder are going to be Pulte, Richmond American, and Party, just to name a few. Their models are highly upgraded and lots of what you see in the model is not going to be included in the base price. The obvious benefit to this camp of builders is that you can customize and upgrade to your heart's desire. This leads me to my second tip, tip number two. Begin with your final budget in mind. You wanna make sure that you factor in any upgrades that you know you already want into your budget, especially in that second camp of homes. It is very easy to add an additional $50,000 or more to your home price by adding upgrades. Maybe you decide it makes more sense to purchase the solar panels rather than lease them. Maybe there are some good tax credits that make purchasing the panels make more sense. By the way, as of this year, 2020, the California legislature made solar panels on new construction mandatory. Yes, you now must have solar panels on new construction. Solar panels are running about $15,000 to $20,000 depending on the size of the home. Then maybe you want to upgrade your flooring to the popular luxury vinyl plank throughout. That can add about $10,000 per floor. Maybe you want to add a patio cover because we have very hot summers here. Or you want the taller kitchen cabinets or the upgraded sliding glass door, you know, the one that opens from the center that's huge. Um, you can see how it is not that hard to add a lot to your final purchase price. This is where your realtor can really help with these types of decisions, and they can recommend communities that fit within your budget. Pro tip, always take your knowledgeable and experienced agent with you the very first time you visit a new construction community. If you visit a new construction community without your agent for the first time, the builder will not later allow you to have independent representation. Instead, you are going to be represented by the sales agent that is also the employee of the builder. Also, it does not cost you anything to have independent representation. The buyer's agent commission is almost always paid for by the seller, which in this case is the builder. If you are considering new construction homes in our area, give us a call, we would love to hear from you. Even if you are a year out from purchasing your home, it is never too early to contact us to help you make a plan. Tip number three, if you wanna purchase a new home on one of the best lots, plan to wait longer. You are most likely going to have to buy it very early in the building process, most likely when the lot is still dirt. Sometimes there is a cancellation and you can get lucky. If you pick out a premium lot and it is in the dirt phase, plan to wait about six months to have your home built. If you need a quicker move in, you can often still get a decent lot, but just know that it's not likely going to be one of the very best premium lots. New construction homes in the area, they're still selling very well, even though we are currently dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. Tip 
Number four, go and see an already completed home when possible that is an exact match of the floor plan and exterior finishes and colors if possible. It is easy to fall in love with the look of the sales center models and the interior can be designed very similar to the models. But regarding the outside or the elevation as they call it, these are typically predetermined by the builder which lot will have which floor plan, elevation, and color scheme. This is so that the neighborhood will have nice aesthetics and variety. You can't have two of the same homes side by side because that just wouldn't look good. So once you've decided on a floor plan, you will look at the available lots and take note of the elevation that is planned for that lot. The elevation is the exterior style. Here is an example of elevations that you might be choosing from. Um, a lot of times builders will have like this is Lennar, they have four different elevations for this plan. So it's very common to have like a Spanish style one. This one is a craftsman style. This one I think they call it like an Italian style. And then this one is a farmhouse style. The farmhouse one right now is very popular. After you find out which elevation is planned for the lot, ask about the color scheme. Normally the salesperson will have a board in the sales center that looks like this with the various color schemes and samples of the roofing tiles, etc. With all of this information in mind, I recommend that you then go and look at a finished exact match of your home. The sales rep should be able to look up in the system another home in the community that is an exact match, elevation, and color scheme match to the home that you are considering. Go ahead and drive by that home so that you can see physically in person what it's going to look like. If there are no matches, and this is common if a community is brand new, in this case, you're gonna to have to use your imagination. But whenever you can, try to see the finished result. Tip Number five, ask if the builder currently has any type of hometown heroes program. Many builders offer additional closing costs or upgrades credits for specified professions, which are usually past and present military, uh, law enforcement personnel, and firefighters. Some programs also extend to a wider variety of professions, such as teachers, medical doctors, and nurses. I've been seeing these types of programs offer around an additional $2,000 in credit. New construction builders almost always offer you some help with paying your closing costs in the form of a credit. The catch is you have to use the builder's approved lender to get the credit. Other outside lenders typically have a hard time competing with this offer because the credit is being offered by the builder, not the lender. My preferred lender has told me it is difficult to compete with the credits that the builders are offering the buyers to use the builder's lender because they would also have to offer a credit and not be able to make very much money on the loan for it to make business sense for them. Most of my new construction buyer clients do end up using the builder's lender, but it is a great idea to get another quote just to be sure that you're getting the best deal. If you do find a better deal, I recommend to then ask the builder's lender to match the offer, which they may. The best case scenario is you get the closing cost credit and they match the best offer. The typical closing cost credit I'm seeing currently with the builders is usually between $6,000 and $12,000. And if you get the hero credit on top of that, this is really going to lower the amount of cash that you will need for closing. Well, that wraps up my tips for today. For more on new construction, check out my next video here. Bye.